You think this is what it's like to be a division in Hoi 4 when, uh, when I'm actually playing the game? Yes, that looks 100% accurate. That's what it feels like. This guy right here is just in shock. He, he doesn't even want to move because he's witnessed the death of all his family and friends. I don't know if there's ever been a more perfect game for me to cover. This is literally Observer Mode, the game. And it even is in World War II. I, I played this a long time ago, but I kind of feel like this game should have been called the Hoi Soy Boy Simulator. And you're about to find out why. So this is the demo, but you can pick it up for free on Steam. Uh, I know the game's going to come out pretty soon. It, it, it's, it's changed so much since the last time I played it. Uh, so as you can see, we've got a bunch of different countries here. All the major powers and Poland. The major powers and Poland. I just, I feel like I should mention that. Also, I don't know where to find this, but I guess this is an Easter egg. You can see a little special thanks to uh, Paintbrush Boy himself. I feel special. So you guys know me. Obviously, I'm going to play as Papa. And we're going to do this great patriotic war. And uh, from the looks of it, we've got a nice... Home field advantage. Good. I think I'm going to need it. So as you can see, here's the, I think, pretty beautiful map. And in this scenario, it looks like we've got just uh, three teams. The Soviets, uh, the Nazis at this point, and, uh, and the British. So I, I don't really know where to go from here. I guess my, my generals respect me. Okay. Well, at least... At least someone respects me around here. This looks complicated. Uh, here's our total tank tech tree, I, I guess. Which, I have to admit, this shouldn't come as much of a surprise. But no, I don't know anything about World War II tanks. You guys know that by now. You guys know I, I don't know much in, in general. But we can get more than just tanks. We can get, like, rifle squads. Uh, there's some airplane units. I think we've got, like, anti-tanks down here. And we'll be able to watch these as soon as we unlock them, I guess. Oh, we've got a little battle going on. Okay, I think, uh, I think this is our first mission. Let's... Do it, don't disappoint me. So we've got a German invasion, 1941. Oh, okay, so this is Operation Barbarossa. Nice. Hope I got the right shit. There's a way to win it. Like, I'm not only just observing, I actually have to do something, unfortunately. I've got to try to place these units in the right area or position, or else, uh, yeah, the Nazis are just going to destroy me. we got a couple choices here. I don't really remember what any of these do. I, I definitely want to put down a plane, just because, I mean, they're pretty cool. I don't even know, did the Soviets have, like, a shitty air force? Maybe that was not the, the right idea. Well, I guess we'll see. There's kind of a lot of light tanks right here, or at least that's what it looks like. So I'm just going to go with these KV-1s, these heavy tanks, and uh, maybe that'll be enough. Oh, a fire tank. Okay, that does not sound like it actually existed, although it looks like it has a pretty specific name. So maybe it did. Let, let's try this. All right, well, uh, looks like it's going pretty well. I guess we Oh, well, there, <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Most of our stuff, I guess I can get like a little mechanic to run around fixing our tanks. Wow, we're getting destroyed. Yeah, I'm a failure. Okay, let's try that again. Maybe with some more units this time. Oh, no, I can't try that again. Wow, that's... Oh, this is going to go horribly. I I'm going to totally lose this front. Hey, I'm just trying to play this historically accurate. Okay, guys, so don't blame me. Blame Stalin. Well, they were panzers. Uh, I should have known they were panzers, of course. Why didn't I put my anti-panzers out there? Wait a second, I've got a second chance. I at least I have two. Well, let's, let's just do it anyways. I'm gonna go back to this forest and just lay down a whole bunch of anti-tanks, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, why not? That's my biggest problem. I've got to think defensively. So let's put down a few landmines. I've got a few points. Yeah, because this costs like nothing. So hopefully I can get a few. Okay, that's maybe too much. Let's put down some riflemen. And uh, I really wish now that I looked at my statistics. I, I don't know how well my planes did. So I don't know if maybe I should put down more. All right, so here's the plan. We've got a little army of light tanks over here just to fight them out in the open fields. That should just hopefully get a few casualties. We've got some landmines. I, I don't know what I was thinking with that. And then uh, this is a little sneaky invasion. Maybe we'll have a little, little gangbang on our hands. Oh, they totally see the mines. Wow, those were a complete waste. They're just shooting them down, basically. Okay, well, are they going to run? At least they're dodging their own mines. I <laughs> Son of a bitch. All my tanks are done. Yeah, they were completely worthless at this point. But you know what? Their their panzers are almost depleted. Obviously, if this bar is anything to go by, it looks like things are going okay. Although, once my airbase gets shot down, then uh, I think we lose. And I lost. Okay. Yeah, I, I need to just drop the air force. I don't know anything about, like, Soviet planes. Pretty sure they're shit. But nonetheless, I did way better this time. We were close. I just ran out of units. So we, we got all their tanks. I do like this like paradox style notification system somewhat. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? I am, I'm used to this. Well, here's our garage. Um, I, you know, I've heard of this T-34 before. Maybe I should buy a couple of those. I think I figured out this too. So I'm assuming when I lose respect to my generals, they're going to leave. Uh, kind of a little ex commie I guess. Now I'm about 90% sure that Finland is not going to be in the base game, but uh, that'd be so cool. I, I can already imagine them with their little 
skiing units. I can try to save Lithuania or Latvia. But at the same time, I'm going to lose both of them, so it doesn't really matter. So we kind of have a different map this time. Uh, this river is actually pretty interesting. I could have really used that last time game. Thanks a lot. Oh, so they're being defensive this time. That is pretty smart. I, I definitely see a little bit of yeah, less units. That's for sure. Okay, so I'm not even going to go with fighters. I'm going to try to do some, like, anti-aircraft. Unit diversity is what I think we need. So I'm just kind of throwing out a whole bunch here. And uh, I, I did a lot because... We really need to win this. Let's see how it goes. Uh, I got a couple rockets, which is nice. They're already firing up there. And my anti-air should be just fine. I got two for... Well, there's gonna be like six planes running around. That's not good. Oh my god. They're just sitting there getting blown up to pe... Okay. This is pathetic. This is our last guy left. Just a T-34 running around just by himself. I, I Actually, he's doing... Oh, oh he's getting... Uh, god dang it. Oh, wait a second. No, I'm good. We've got some time. Uh, the problem is, uh, I don't know who's going to take out all the, uh, the aircraft. The battle is now lasting on until the night. Oh, things are getting intense. That's pretty cool. I don't know how my guys are still alive. They're just like sitting ducks out there. I'm pretty sure I need a little dude that's like going around fixing guys. I, I don't know if that is the... Okay. I'll have to check in on that. Oh, wait, no, I died. Wow. All right, th that was like two attempts and, and I already just ended it. Maybe maybe I should play as the Germans. Oh wow, I didn't even realize that the only country I can play as is the Soviets, at least during the demo. Okay, well, let's try again. You know, if the Brits could actually get off their ass and maybe start some D-Day, that'd be great. I know it's only 1941, a little, little early, but you might as well try. Now that we've started over, let, let's just definitely not lose this first mission. Unit diversity is probably not the way to go. These riflemen do have grenades. Maybe that'll help against some of the tanks. I should look at these numbers more often, but just Reading is hard. I think I got it. Okay, this time we're going with the classic Soviet strategy of just meat shields. Okay, I've got a bunch of meat shields out here. Hopefully that that'll do something. Then we'll do the other Soviet strategy of just putting down a bunch of crappy tanks and just pray that winter comes. I was really hoping my fire tank would uh, do some damage against their infantry. It, and okay, nice work. Things seem to be going well on this front for the most part. I mean, because we just outnumber them like a huge bunch. But over here... Uh, it's oh no, no. Th this is definitely not going well. Oh yeah, we're getting blitzkrieged. We're definitely getting. Well, actually no, they don't have planes. We're we're kind of get. Wow. All right. That poor soul. This game was clearly not made for me. I, I take it back. They uh, they clearly haven't realized the Drudrino difficulty. Let's try this one uh, instead of protecting Riga. I, I guess I will try to save Lithuania. Probably won't go very well, but I did buy some units. I've got a plan. Uh, I bought some units in the garage. Flanking maneuvers are the best maneuvers. Yes, we are clearly... We're being overrun. All right, this is pretty straightforward. They don't got too much over here. I should have a chance. Oh, they have a lot of riflemen. All right, here we go. I'm going to double down. I've got 100 rifleman divisions out there. 100. I went to the garage and just bought a whole bunch. Again, this has to work. I I'm stalling. I don't care about these people's lives. I will also view as one of the... Okay, as one of my brethren just immediately die. Uh, I will view as this man as we go forward. <laughs> it's actually a much better way, I think, of of observing. Things seem to be not going as well as expected. We're, we're hiding behind a rock. Little Dave here. Okay, Dave's dead already. As soon as I named him, too. Do you think this is what it's like to be a division in Hoi 4 when, uh, when I'm actually playing the game? Yes, that looks 100% accurate. That's what it feels like. This guy right here is just in shock. He, he doesn't even want to move because he's witnessed the death of all his family and friends. Okay, spamming out riflemen clearly doesn't work in this game, but at the same time putting one unit down each. I, I know that when I used to play this game, you had to kind of like look at what the enemy had and, and you had to just know what their weakness was so that way you can always kind of be able to fight off some of these guys. Like I need to know, like what I don't even know what this is first of all, so that's... That's my first problem. I really need to use the geography of the region too. Like, I should probably tell not all my guys to just rush in, depending on if there's like a big ass lake right here. Okay, last one, because I, I just wanted to view from like a sky perspective. Also, there's gonna be a little dogfight going on. We got bombers. Shit, I don't even know if that was the right idea to put bombers down instead of, oh. Uh, yeah, not, not really. Oh, they just took over our own shit. Oh, wow. Well. That was a waste. I had like an army of tanks out there. Every, light tanks, medium tanks, heavy tanks. Still, still a failure. Well, this feels much more natural. I, I'm right at home now. I think it's got a lot of potential. Obviously, it's a little bit too hard for me. Uh, definitely let me know down below if you'd like to see me play more, or at least when, when the game gets released. 
Uh, I, I might come back to it one more time, depending on if you guys like it. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time. And as always, big thanks to my Patreon supporters, Furry Cruise, Swiss Argo, KMT for China, Sister Fister, Jake Paul's My Daddy, Yeet God McNeckass, Maxi G, Tyler, Matthew Rembish, Caitlin Liu, Sean Spillman, Jen's Love Disc, Bruce Furcation, Matthew E, William Bennett, King Solomon, Elijah Senpai, Kirby, Wyone, and Elfie C.